hey guys welcome back to my channel for those who don't know my name is nastasia thomas today's tutorial is going to be a nighttime tutorial look that we're just going to get straight into i'm starting off with my aveeno positively radiant daily moisturizer i didn't prime for some reason i forgot to and the foundation that i'm going to be using is the estee lauder double wear foundation in mocha I find that using a brush when using this foundation is way easier than using a sponge. It's really difficult, it's not blending properly when you use a sponge. And also, I'm not sure what's up with it or if it's just me, but I think the foundation don't match my skin tone or the undertone is too grey for me. I have a more yellow undertone, but I still use it anyway and I did the best that I could. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and it is in Butterscotch. You can clearly see the contrast between the gray undertone and the yellow concealer that I'm using on the top. Uh, I don't think I'll be using back that foundation at all and I paid a lot of money for that. The setting powder that I'll be using is the Sasha Butter Cup. That's a more yellow undertone and I really like it. I know my face is going to look really cakey um, and like I have a lot of product on. But I promise you after I use my setting spray it will all look like it's coming together. So don't judge just yet. So to contour my nose, my cheekbone and my jawline I'm going to use the Black Radiance press powder in ebony the brush that I'm using to contour is the Smashbox contour brush I'm going to go in with my favorite pressed powder. It's the Sephora Micro Smoothing Powder in Matte Tan. <music> to set all of that, I'm using the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. So I'm going in with my favorite palette, the Morphe. 3502 palette and I'm starting off with chestnut in my crease area after which I'll move on to rich and to darken the crease area a bit I'm going to use brunette So I'm going to do a center cut crease and for that I'm using my concealer, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Butterscotch. So at both corners of the cut crease, I'm going to go back in with chestnut just to blend it out a bit so it look like a natural transition. So I went back in with a little more concealer just to make the cut crease more defined. Then on top, I'm going to add a blaze and in the middle of all of that I'm going to use pure it's like a metallic golden color and that is what it's looking like now So 
So to blend it all out, I'm going back in with a blaze. So for the lower lid, I'm going to use a blaze and then I'm going to go in with the red color that is called Fire. It's an intense matte red. So normally I will do my brows before I start applying any eyeshadows. So I did it the opposite way now. I'm filling in my brows and of course I'm using the Anastasia dip pomade in ebony to carve up my brows with a angle brush from my brush set that is what i'm pretty much using now and i already have a video that will be listed in the description bar below on how to do your eyebrows it's a simple easy to follow beginner friendly video so you can you guys can check that out So to highlight my brow bone, I'm now using my favorite highlighter, it's the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Highlighter in Gold. The liquid liner that I'll be using is the NYX Liquid Matte and for those who don't know, I've been attempting to do wing liners it's not something that, that I will normally do so just watch and see how many times I messed up and you will see how I fix them yeah Okay, so don't think that I'm done with the liner because I'm not. There's going to be a lot more adjustments, but for now I'm just applying some lashes that I got off Amazon. They don't really have a name and I, 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 I would have to go back and look. I don't remember the name of these lashes, but I will find it and list it in the description bar below. Or I'll just put the link down there. I don't have a white liquid liner however I have the NYX jumbo pencil in milk so I just use this little brush that I found and I just wipe it on it and that is what I'll be using to create the white wing just below the black one just you know for some style told you I wasn't done with the liner I'm still going in trying to fix it um, but to make it a bit more to my liking I'm going to use my concealer and try and fix it so just watch and see what I do mascara that I use is the Maybelline Lash Sensation and in my tear dot I'm going to go back in with the same Morphe palette with the with co the color pure I'm just lining my lips I'll be using the lippies by Shauna it's a red it's like a matte red lipstick it's the color boss chick it's a Jamaican owned lipstick company I'm gonna 
show you guys that's what it looks like really brief <laughs> really fast but you will see how beautiful the color is one thing i i hoped i went in with a more subtle lip i think that would fit the eye look a bit more better because there's a lot going on with the eyes and the lips are red but because it's a night look i felt okay just go hard and done I'm going to set my face with the MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray. I do hope you enjoyed this nighttime makeup tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment and share. And also guys, please subscribe. See you in the next video. Take care.